Alright, for today's video, I'm going to be mixing up some Quinclora 75DF. Uh, a while back, I did some research and I had some crabgrass in my yard and I was trying to get rid of it and I found that this is the active ingredient in all products that kill crabgrass. This right here if you read the label on it, it says it's Bermuda's tolerant, but Centipede and St. Augustine, it says do not spray on those. Uh, it looked like it was a, a perfect chemical to spray on my yard because I'm trying to get rid of my Centipede and St. Augustine, and or at least slow it down to where my Bermuda that I overseeded with can take over. Uh, so today we've got a, a $10 hand can here from Lowe's, it's a Chapin sprayer, real cheap. I've actually got three sprayers right now. One I use for liquid fertilizers, for humic acid, uh, anything that's healthy for the lawn I use it in that, my, back, my backpack sprayer. And then I've got another hand sprayer that I use for total kill off type stuff, Roundup, uh, straight glyphosate, anything like that, which I used on my side yard over here that I'm killing it off with. Uh, that way you don't mix up any type of poisons or herbicides or anything like that. In your good sprayers you keep them all separated so I've got this one labeled here for crabgrass today we're going to be mixing this one I've already uh, I've already pre filled this sprayer with water uh, for two reasons one is to see how it sprays because I've never used this sprayer before and then uh, two is because I can't edit videos yet so we're doing this all in one take so I got my gloves on Quinclorac, any of these herbicides, their main purpose is to absorb into plants. And as humans, we have pores. So you get it on you, it's going to absorb into your skin just like it would the plant, which is not good. The mixing instructions say one tablespoon per gallon. So today we're just going to mix one gallon at a time for the small area that we're doing. Uh, if I have any left over, I'm just going to do some spot spraying on crabgrass throughout the yard. So, we'll do it over this, just in case I have a little bit extra. We'll do a heaping spoon. A little more won't hurt. Just put that in there, plus a touch. Let's just do a little touch more. Surfactant. Alright, we've got our surfactant. The surfactant is a, uh, it's a temporary thing. They, uh, it's easy. Most people have it in their house. Baby shampoo or, or dishwashing liquid. We've got a baby, so we're going to use some, uh, some baby shampoo. How much? I don't know. Let's just put some in there. An experiment, so we'll see. That'll work. We'll go over that. Go ahead and put our lid on. That surfactant is a uh, baby shampoo. Is a it like makes it real sticky, makes it cling onto it. A lot of times your uh, 
your weeds are hydrophobic is the word I think. Uh, you'll notice if you get water on them, sometimes crabgrass you'll see water bead up on it, kind of repels it, hydrophobic. So this surfactant or baby shampoo, dishwashing liquid, whatever you use, it kind of breaks that waxy barrier so that you can so that you can get the poison onto the leaf and so that it'll absorb the poison. Shake it up like this. It also says that while you're using this product to keep it shaking every once in a while. So while you're spraying it, I don't know, guys every 15, 20 foot, stop, shake it up. Uh, now that we've got our product mixed, I'm going to uh, go ahead and, and spray this section out here by the road. Um, kind of hard to do without a cameraman, so I'll just take you with me. Alright, this is the area we're going to be spraying. Like I said, it's it's a lot of uh, Bermuda, St. Augustine, Centipede, some crabgrass down in there. It's just It's all the way down. You've got areas here where there's common Bermuda that was here before I ever planted any. Um, this whole mailbox area is complete crabgrass all the way around. There's a little bit of damage on that crabgrass, I think, from some other broad spectrum weed killers I've been spraying. It's all around here. So this is an area where the Bermuda is doing fairly decent, but I think that's common Bermuda from the fat blades on it. You can see a bunch of the Meloriganite where I've been trying to build up the soil up here on this hill. And then crabgrass city. Crabgrass, crabgrass, crabgrass. And this is where it's really bad. So we're gonna see if we can kill all the weeds, get the Bermuda to take over. And we'll see what happens after that. <laughs> 